How's it going guys? Needless Space here. This video we're going to talk about the key points as to why Season 11 will possibly be the season that we explore the Deep Stone Crypt and multiple signs that actually point in this direction. Now, I know this isn't really the typical type of video for this channel, but I just wanted to talk about the next season since it's almost here and explore some hints that might have been dropped in the game recently. So real quick, for those of you that don't know, the Deep Stone Crypt is supposedly the subroutine that seeded the first Exo's consciousness and is the key that holds the mysteries to everything Exo. And in the lore, it is shrouded in so much mystery that even the Exos have no idea how it works or where it is. Some Exos actually have dreams or flashbacks from it, but that is the extent. And Bungie has stated that they actually want to focus more on Exos soon, just like how they focus more on the Awakened lore during the Forsaken expansion. I know it might seem like there's no relation between this and how our current season is folding out, but just wait a minute, I'll get there. So as we all know, Bungie loves to tease upcoming seasons and game releases, and they actually do a great job at it, pushing the player base to its limits and searching for them. So in the most recent This Week at Bungie, there wasn't a whole lot of information and it seemed just kind of like a filler update to keep us at bay. But if you notice, one of the subsections is titled Diving Deep, like the Deep Stone Crypt. Now on its own, I know this is a stretch and it pretty much means nothing, but just wait until I get to the rest of the signs and it starts to make a little more sense. So to answer the question, why now? Why would we be thinking about the Deep Stone Crypt? And why would they introduce it in the story at this moment when we're dealing with the Almighty and the Darkness? Well, if you remember during a cutscene with Anna Bray when we first clear out the Moon Monker, she actually brings it up herself. Here, take a look. I'm a Bray first, and a Guardian second, selfishly chasing my past. But Rasputin and I have been busy scouring the system. Not for ourselves. We were looking for Golden Age relics, hunting down the Deep Stone Crypt, chasing loose threads. So why wouldn't they naturally go back to the search after the Almighty is taken care of? Or maybe they've actually already found it and it's just bad timing to tell us now and they've been waiting until all this is over with. Now another clue is in that audio that Bungie has released on their Twitter page the other day. If you haven't been living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard it by now. It's about a minute long audio that sounds like eerie ambient noises and people are saying it's the sounds of the darkness. Well, it turns out that it sounds very close to the clip of a video NASA released on the sounds of Saturn. And it's actually roughly the same length. I believe the exact same, if not just a second shorter. Now, bear with me here. I know Saturn itself has nothing to do with the Deep Stone Crypt, but we'll come back to that. Now, if you aren't aware of this, Cade 6 has actually had many visions of the Deep Stone Crypt and has had a deep longing to find out more about it and its exact location. Well, back in the Forsaken DLC, he sent a message to Petrovange that read, If the sun over Nessus escapes nebula cycle, evac labor after dawn under solstice. Now, it sounds like some poetry or gibberish, but it's actually a coded message. And the first letter of each word spells out, It's on Enceladus. Enceladus is one of Saturn's moons, and that's why the new audio teaser is so important. Now, as far as motives for Rasputin to actually find the Deep Stone Crypt, one of them might be an attempt to bring back his Exo son. As we are shown in the Lie Quest, he regrets taking out his only son, so it only makes sense that his next step might be an attempt to make things right by finding the Deep Stone Crypt. Now, I know this is mostly based on speculation, and I could be completely wrong about the entire thing here. Either way, I hope you guys at least got some enjoyment out of the idea that we might be exploring such a mysterious place. And I hope you guys are excited as I am to see what actually comes from this next season. I will catch you guys in the next video, and as always, good luck and have fun.